Hey guys, it's officially my last day in Australia. I'm here in Kishwarina Beach in Northern Territory, Darwin. So the journey in Asia begins. Have a good time, eh? Just made it to Timor-Leste and I have some local friends waiting for me outside. After the welcome sign, the first sign you see is about the Zika virus. It's a mosquito that bites you and you get the virus. Nice, I don't have even a travel insurance. Cool, cool, let's continue. So here is my friend Ameto. Marco. Monali, hello, 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 hello. How do I know these guys? Have you ever heard this country, Timor Leste? I was working in a vegetable farm in Australia, and these guys were in my team, the cauliflower team. They told me that they come from Timor Leste. First time in my life I heard about this country, and actually this country is one of the least visited countries in the world, and it's really close to Australia. We became really good friends at the farm, so I said to them that when I will finish my year in Australia, it's going to be the first country that I'm going to visit. And it actually happened. I'm in Dili, the capital of Timor-Leste. So my friend Ala here takes me somewhere that I don't really know where, but let's do this. Timor-Leste! Then I will send the piece to Azmi. I can make it here. Where are we going? Come here. Come, come. Follow me. Follow me. Make movies. Yeah. From what I understood here, people don't really have money to paint the walls. That's a really unique way to sell vegetables. After the walk with Allah, I met John, Allah's brother. Here he is with one of his sons. He gave me the room of his son Messi and he told me I can stay as much as I want. I took a nap and then Joa wanted to show me a bit of the nightlife of Dili. We went for beers in Castaway Bar and then... In a beach party, something like this, with two people that I just met today, two locals. With one I don't really... I can't really talk and uh, because he doesn't speak English and the other one I'm sleeping at his house yeah this looked cute at the beginning a guy goes and asks a girl to dance and they all dance in a specific way this was going on for long The party filled up after some hours and they were still dancing this way. Nice, now I can shake it. crazy today I just came home at 3 o'clock in the morning I'm a bit drunk my room is perfect it's um, Barcelona <laughs> Barcelona style yeah never mind I don't know what tomorrow is gonna bring me Australia no it's Australia I am from Cyprus <laughs> Second day in Timor 
and we're enjoying a nice co co raw coconut. Cows <laughs> bar, amazing view and yummy coconuts. So after my afternoon sleep, um, they woke me up to see how they are cleaning a pig because tomorrow they are having a celebration for the house I'm living in uh, that they gave me a room to sleep in so let's see what they actually want me to see They make culture, you tell them like that Culture? They make culture Good, good <laughs> <laughs> so this is culture for new house, yeah? So I'm ready for a friend's party that I was just invited two hours ago. It's my second day. I've been doing stuff that I didn't organize. It's cool. Let's see. Well, they told me to come back because I wore shorts. And I shouldn't. So I found out it's an engagement party. Yeah. Let's see what's gonna happen. I gave this dance a try and I thought it would be easier but actually you need to follow the steps with rhythm Literally, this dance was going on for the whole night, like for hours. Anyway, the journey continues. Multipanos, 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 multi.